Today, I want to take a look at a clip by Yasser Qadi in which he was speaking at a rally in Washington, D.C. for an event on Palestine. Unfortunately, during his speech, which is uploaded on his YouTube channel, he makes a terrible blunder. Maybe he'd like to correct himself, but as far as I know, the video is still up on his channel. I haven't seen any clarification as to his statement, and his statement is deeply problematic. Now, what that statement is, we'll see just in a second when I play this clip. Let's take a listen. As I see the crowd in front of us, there are hundreds of Orthodox rabbis, thousands of Jewish people. These are our brethren. These are our brethren. They are the real followers of Moses. They are the ones who make the children of Israel proud. These are the people who show the nation of Israel that it is not your ancestry that makes you blessed. It is your piety that makes you blessed. So there you have it, folks. In this clip, you can see Yasser Qadi is saying that the people in the crowd, the people of the Jewish faith, that are anti-Zionist, that are pro-Palestinian, that are not for the Zionist state and are rallying against them, these are the true followers of Moses. These are, according to Yasser Qadi, his brethren or the brothers of the Muslims, the believers. And he says it's not, and, and there was a you know, a problem in the feed there in the video that's not on my end, it's on the part of the video, where he says, it speaks about their piety. These people are to be judged based on their piety. So he says these people are pious. They're the true followers of Moses, and they're his brethren. They're the brethren of the Muslims. I'm sorry, Yasser Qadi, that I have to make this video correcting you. And it's not to say that we don't appreciate or we don't agree with the fact that these people may be, at least some of them, genuinely supporting the Palestinian cause. And they can be applauded for that. There's no problem in that whatsoever, necessarily. However, these people, no matter their position on Palestine, are not our brethren. What does the Quran say? Who are the brethren of the Muslims? Not the Jews and the Christians. They're not considered our brethren. This does not mean that they're all judged equally in the sense that we hate them all equally or anything like that. No, that's not the claim. But they are not our brethren. The Quran is very clear and precise about this. The Quran says, ikhwa. The believers are your brethren. Not the Jews and the Christians. And I mean, Yasser Qadi should know this. If he made a mistake, if he misspoke, I don't think that he did because I think he would double down on a statement now. Why is there not a clarification that's been made? Why is the video still up, including that portion when it's a huge blunder? So that's one proof. Second proof is we have the story and the example of Noah, alayhi salam, in the Quran, where his own son did not follow him and do not follow his call. What, was, what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran about, to Noah about his son? He said, he is not of your family. So the Jews and the Christians, they are not our family. They are of our family. They are not our brothers and sisters in that sense. Now, what does the Quran say about the Jews and the Christians? Those who disbelieve in the Quran and the Prophet, alayhi salatu was salam. The Qur'an is very clear about this, and I want to be clear. I am not saying that therefore we can't have cordial relationships or we can't uh, be appreciative of their genuine support, those who are genuinely supporting. It's not that we cannot agree with that. No, they're not the true followers of Moses. We are. The Muslims are the true followers of Musa alayhi salam. Not the Jews not the children of Israel, they don't automatically now become the true followers of Musa alayhi salam just because they are supporting the Palestinians and they're anti-Zionists. Yes, that's a good thing. Bravo. We applaud them for that. That does not mean that they are our brethren, nor does it mean that they are the true followers of Musa alayhi salam. The true followers of Musa alayhi salam are the Muslims, are the believers, the ones who follow 
the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. And if you don't know this, and of course you should know this, and there's no clarification, there's no removing of this portion of the video, this is deeply pro problematic from somebody who claims to be a scholar. And I want to make this clarification because thousands of people are watching this video. It's not really about Yasser Qadi. It's for the people who see this video to not be misled, to not misunderstand what the Muslim position is. It's not just to, to, meant to be an attack on him. So I hope that people understand that. This is meant to clarify to the public that this was not a correct statement and what the Islamic Quranic position actually is. And to be clear, the Quran says about those who, after they received the message from the Prophet والسلام, and they denied him, the Jews, the Christians, and the polytheists, what does the Quran say? What does it say? The Quran says, surely the disbelievers from among the people of the book, the disbelievers, the kuffar from among the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians and the mushrikeen and the polytheists, they are going to be in hellfire forever. And they are the worst of living creatures. Now, Christians use this as a polemic all the time. Look what the Quran says. It calls the Jews and the Christians and the polytheists the worst of living creatures. If you look at other ayat in the Quran, it also says those who do not use their aql, those who do not use reason, are the worst of living creatures. So it's not as if there's something inherently wrong with them as a race, like what we see in the Talmud say about non-Jews. No, they're the worst of living creatures precisely because they rejected the mercy sent to all of mankind, the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. That's why they're the worst of living creatures, because they rejected him and they reject the Quran. That's what the surah is about. That's what the chapter of the Quran is about. So I'm sorry, Yasser Qadi, and I'm sorry those of, that are his fans and followers. This was a huge blunder on his part. The Muslims, the believers, those who follow the Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu wasalam, we are the true followers of Moses, not the Jews, whether they're Zionist or not. Alhamdulillah, if they're not Zionists. And we can applaud them for that, but that doesn't all of a sudden make them the inheritors of the faith of Moses. They're not. They turn their back on Musa alayhi salam. They slander him in many cases. Their own books speak ill of him in certain situations and all of the other prophets. So we cannot give them this courtesy and this title of saying they are the true followers of Musa alayhi salam, Moses. No, they're not. We are. The Muslims are. And we need to understand and accept that. And they are not our brethren. The believers are our brethren, as the Quran says. And the disbelievers amongst the Jews and the Christians and the polytheists, they are not, the Quran doesn't speak favorably about them. I just read you what the verse of the Quran says. They're the worst of living creatures and they'll be in hellfire. And I, I don't say this to like put it in their face in a bad way. I'm just clarifying the record of what the Quran's position actually is. So I hope that's clear. I hope that's clarification for those who may see the video. This is not just meant to be a personal attack on Yasser Qadi. I don't really care about that. That's not my thing. Just go around, make personal attacks. I don't really care about that. Point of the matter is this needed correction. It was a huge blunder on his part. I hope that he'll take or remove this portion of the video and that he'll clarify this to the audience. But if you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing and also consider donating at the GoFundMe link which is pinned at the top of the description of this video, as well as my other videos. With that being said, guys, please continue to pray for our Palestinian brothers and sisters, and I'll see you all again next time, hopefully under better circumstances, inshallah. But until then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.